Or guess what's coming? Yeah, the cicadas. After more than a decade, flying, singing cicadas will soon make a reappearance and make history. For the first time in 221 years, there will be two species of cicadas coming out of the ground at the same time. And our own Journey Taylor is getting the dirty details on how soon this invasion will arrive. It's all new in a Wake Up Central Morning Original. It's Valentine's Day week. And if you're preparing for a day with that special someone, you won't be the only one. In a couple of months, uh, some insects are going to crawl out of the ground and uh, they'll be around looking for love. Entomologist John Zavislak says massive groups of male cicadas climb up onto trees, forming what's called a chorus. Then they sing the song that's meant to attract the females. They're not okay. screaming, they're singing. And this year, for the first time in 13 years, Brood 19 of cicadas will reemerge this spring across 15 states for up to four to six weeks, and Arkansas is on that list. They feed on the sap from the roots of trees, and they grow very slowly, and they are synchronized to, to come out all at once. They know when a year has passed because the, uh, the, the cycle of nutrients flowing through the trees. And so they count it up, and when, when the time is right, they all come out at once. And if you're wondering what makes these broods different than what we hear every year. These are uh, in the genus called magic cicadas and they are the periodical cicadas. So uh, they're either on a 13 or a 17 year cycle. In different parts of the country, uh, we have these large populations that emerge all together. But that doesn't mean we won't get our annual visitors later this summer. Experts say another species of cicadas that only shows up every 17 years will also reemerge in northern states this spring. The two groups could come close to overlapping in the Springfield, Illinois area, an event that hasn't happened since 1803 when Thomas Jefferson was president. So buckle up for a noisy spring and summer. They're, they're going to be about the same decibel level as, as the ones we're familiar with. It's just that there will be a whole lot of them uh, coming out at an earlier time. Zavislak says for an entomologist, there's always something interesting emerging. My mom would love this. But now if your entomophobia is kicking in, just remember one thing. Cicadas can't hurt you. They look big and, and scary if you're not uh, familiar with them, but the adults really don't even feed. Uh, they don't have functional mouth parts. They're just there to sing their song and do their thing and then they will disappear. Well, this is the thing. Cicadas have these organs called timbles on the side timbles. of their bodies, and their abdomen is kind of hollow, so when they use their wings to kind of angle their body side to side, that's how we're getting that noise. So, of course, when a lot of them are together, it is extremely loud. Yeah. It's so amazing to see something so small that can be so loud. Yes. yes, and you made a good point. It's like the sound of summer. Oh, yeah. I mean, hey, I grew up in Lone Oak County. I was in the ballpark <laughs> every night. You could hear them clear as day. Yes. You know, it was time to go home. And tell us about the species in Arkansas, we have a, a bunch, about bunch. 20 to 24 different species here in the state. Okay. So the thing you have to understand, these species will be reappearing in the spring. Okay. okay. But we're still going to get our annual species, the annual oh. cicadas, in the summer. Gotcha. So it's just going to be a noisy spring and summer. <laughs> we're not going to get a break. But after a while, you know, you kind of tune it out. Mm. You do. You do. It's like you just white get noise. used to it. Yeah. 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 Sound of summer. But they can't hurt you. Mm -hmm. I have a friend who's extremely afraid oh. of cicadas. Oh. Understand. Yes. Yes. Oh, well, he's, yeah, he said they're not going to bite you. They're they not going to bite, bite you, Miss Keisha. Yeah, they, they'll they be can't. fine. Big <laughs> flies. But boy, they have a unique sound, though. Now we know that hollow abdomen, mm -hmm. how they do it. They're That's just kind of cool. They're looking for love. Yes, they are. That's their mating call. They're looking for love. We all deserve love, right? Nice.